I was forced to learn fast. My mom would just throw me to a shop, then tell me, oh, uh, you are the so-called ma manager here. Hi, my name is Eric. Hi, I'm Isaac. So we are the owners of uh, Nene Nene Yori. Yori. And uh, we are located in the Maxwell Hawker Centre. I've been working in the restaurant industry for 8 years. And then I moved to fine dining. I was in around 4 to 5 years. So I previously worked in restaurant summer. Ever since like, it's the start of the internship, I realised like, it's, it's quite fun. Uh, like, I, I realised that I, I like what I'm doing, uh, although the hours are long. So we mainly do uh, steam fish. So before this, I was doing a uh, family business regarding coffee shops, uh, food shop houses. It's all the while in the F&B line. For me, I feel steam fish cannot really go wrong. Simple food, like people can eat any time of the day. They can eat every day. As of now, uh, we do have golden pong fret and siwas uh, in Hong Kong style and Thai style. These four options are actually our main fish. Then others will include like uh, vegetables, uh, we do have steamed prawn, tofu, lala, yeah, steam egg. My, my father never really uh, say anything to buy. For them, always like, they prefer me not to be in the F&B because like, it's not easy. That's why every parent thinks. I mean, for me, it's just like I most of the time I just do what I feel like I want to do. My parents don't want me to be FME. But end of the day, you know, we still live in Singapore, we still got to make a living. Uh. So, what they told me is if you can survive four months, right, that means you'll be all, all right already. <laughs> because in Mad Maxwell, well, like, it's, it's not a place where if your food cannot make it, you will last this long. Because uh, the rent is very high and there's plenty to choose from. So like if, if your food, you know, if it doesn't appeal to the general public, they don't come and eat, you can't pay up your rent, then that's it, you have to move out. It must have some standard, uh, some standard to open a shop here. When you start a business, sorry, I think the, the num number one, the most important is the food. If the food don't taste good, then nothing will work. No matter how much social media or whatever you want to do. I actually went to study university because I wasn't really interested in F&B at first. Uh. I hate the hours. I hate the environment. It's, it's understandable uh, why parents don't want, they're not keen on their, their kids going into F&B line. Uh, it's very tiring. So at that point of time, yeah, I, I actually graduated. I couldn't find a job for half a year. So actually my, my mom gave me an offer to try and run my own shop. So I took up an offer. Then I, I, I tried to open my first shop house at that time. It was, it was quite tiring. I actually moved over to the shop house because he has a, he has a living quarters upstairs. So I moved all my stuff over there. So I was living alone at a point of time uh, with my employees. Like you have to wake up in the middle of the night. I have to drive all the way down to Topayo to get vegetables. <laughs> and I was 3 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Come back, prepare it, then open the shutter at 5, that kind of thing. I was forced to learn fast. My mom would just throw me to a shop, then tell me, oh, uh, you are the so-called ma manager here. You are in charge of your schedules, you are in charge of every stock, whatever nonsense. Uh. And then, you know, at that point of time, I'm only like, what, 20, 24? Uh, 24? When I first started, I was, I was like 18 only. Then 24, then I just started doing this. Then people don't look up to you because like, you're younger than them. It, it wasn't such a pleasant journey. But at the end of the day, yeah, I paid off. You, you learn a lot of things on the background. But that being the more traditional side, of f and in Singapore. Oh, we, we knew each other from army. I was a sergeant back in army. Then uh, we, we actually discussed quite a lot of different types of food to try and to, to you know see if it can make it outside. So happened that, that we thought of this steam fish thing. And when we first opened this, it was during COVID period. So at that point of time, like the main goal is just to see how this shop can survive this COVID period. You know, because I think as everyone knows, uh, during COVID period, f and got hit quite hard. So it was, it was quite a challenge for us, uh, like, you know, we don't want it to open just for that one or two months and then close it up because we can't survive. Okay. But when we first started off like, doing this, it was very hectic, it was very tiring, then we didn't have much thought on how to improve better or what. Uh. It was just more about like, it was more of a day-to-day -day thing, uh, how we get past today, then every tomorrow day, they will think of different things. Every day is a challenge. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but now it's a lot better, better uh. yeah, we, we do have some time to think about, you know, what we want to do next time or what. Uh. So, uh, it's, a, it's a straightforward thing. Uh. End of the day, is, yeah, it still comes back to this space uh, where if your business can succeed, then why not? If your business can't succeed, 
then you better pull out first before you earn any more money.